Hi, I'm James Hutt. I'm a, I'm a painter. I say majority of my work is made made by mixing my own colour. Interestingly, I think colour controls me in in some respect. When painting, um, the titles and the subject change by the decision of colour. So I don't set out to do a painting about of anything, you know, I, I, I just, I start painting and then those colours can then determine what it is. Three years ago I went to look for colour, Brazil, it's such a beautiful country, it's such a beautiful name, I don't know, something about the word Brazil is quite exotic, you know, Brazil's very um, vibrant in colour and the light is very strong, the sky, I've never seen such a blue sky. Things began to change fast in terms of like painting and and living life. You know, live life at a different pace. At that time, I was kind of more figurative in my style, a bit more tight, a bit more rigid. And there, I started to begin or develop this style where it's much more confident in the brushstroke, even if that door was slightly wonky or you know, or or just the shadow. You know, I've become more attracted to these elements rather than kind of, you know, describe an actual place. The work started to become slightly more abstracted. In Brazil, I wasn't using pigments from there. I was using a gouache or watercolor based. Where India, I just brought a blank sketchbook and some and some brushes. So I had nothing to paint with. So I had to find the colors. Well, India was just like a complete bombardment of the senses. I was just completely fucking nuts. Like it just was completely in incredible. Went to various parts of the country. I went all around India, and I was looking for colours and pigments. And I went into old Delhi's bustling, crazy market, and I come across this street, and there was these kind of old old run-down shops full of these bags of colours and I went into one and this this man sat me down, this lady at the desk and he started to put pigments onto my skin and then rub it off and just show me these you know vivid bright hues which I you know kind of just seen through three months of travelling and so I bought a load and um, packed them up and took them back and ever since I've painted with those those dyes, those pigments I'm not 100% sure what they're made from, but it's been a journey to work out how they react either with, with water, with a resin, or turn into a, an oil pigment. Figure it out, how to work it out. And so that does and now still dictates the way I paint because I have to work out how they use and how they react to different mediums. Uh, so therefore the color does start to control me in that respect, because they're very kind of mysterious, you know. And travel has given me immense confidence, um, not just as a painter, but as a person, because you're, you're thrown into situations where you have to kind of learn things fast. When you're thrown into the unknown, um, your senses are alive, everything around you is, you know, you're, you're wired. To be in those situations, to feel that, aliveness that you know escape um, and, and, and to use your you know use your brain in, in a different way it's, it's, it's good I think it's, it's kind of healthy to be restless really else you become stagnant and a bit mm, complacent you're like okay it's fine but you need that restlessness to kind of kick you up the arse and make you go in search of something or try and figure it out you know and do it I wish people would see more, more differently.